I have a brand new 2D Unity project, and I just have a few art assets that I ripped right from the internet, including the Doodle Jump background. So I'll actually just drag this background onto the screen, and we'll reset the transform. We can then just click our background object and drag it onto the main camera. We can then set the order and layer on the background to something like negative 10, and that's it, we're done. I have the doodler guy from the game itself, so I'll just drag that onto the screen. The first thing we're gonna wanna add is a box collider 2D. And when you add it, you'll notice that it actually outlines around the entire sprite itself, but we really just wanna isolate this to around the base of the image. So in the inspector, you can hit the edit collider button, and then I'm just gonna drag in the sides so that the collider's just around the bottom of the sprite. We need to add a rigid body 2D. And in here, the two changes we wanna set is on collision detection. We wanna change this from discrete to continuous. And then we also wanna freeze the rotation in the Z axis. Right click in our assets folder, go to create, and down at the bottom, physics material 2D. I'm gonna rename this to bouncy. And in the bounciness field, I'm just gonna set this to one. We can then go back to our doodler object and I'm just gonna drag the bouncy material into the rigid body 2D. I'm gonna type in player controller and select new script, create and add. And for now, that's gonna be it for our player. I'm now gonna drag in the platform image. The components we need is an edge collider 2D and a platform effector 2D. And so in the edge collider 2D, we wanna actually enable used by effector. And this basically just means that we'll only detect collisions coming from above so that you can pass through the bottom. And at this point, when you play the game, your player should actually fall and start bouncing on the platform. Similar to the player, we now wanna add a script to our platform. So we'll press add component and I'll type in platform and we'll click new script, create an add. So let's select our main camera, add component. And I'm gonna call this camera follow and we'll press new script, create an add. And then in the hierarchy, I'll right click and create an empty game object. I'll call this game manager. And then similarly, I'll create a script called game manager and we'll create an add. Let's click on our platform game object in the hierarchy and drag it into our assets folder to create a prefab. Now we'll start with our player movement. So let's double click on the player controller. First, we need a move speed that we can tweak. So we'll say public float move speed and we'll default this to something like 10. We then need a reference to our rigid body. So we'll say public rigid body 2D RB. And then finally, we just need a private variable to manage our horizontal movement. So I'll say private float move X. We can rename start to awake, which is called when loading. And we'll say RB equals get component of type rigid body 2D. In our update function, what we need to capture is our horizontal input. So we'll say move X is equal to input dot get axis. And then in string quotations, horizontal. Make sure your spelling and capitalization is correct. And then we'll multiply this by our move speed. So in fixed update, what we'll say is vector two velocity is equal to the RB velocity. So our current velocity. And we'll say velocity.x is equal to move x. And then we just wanna set our rigid body velocity equal to this new velocity. So now you can move left and right with A and D or the arrow keys. Let's go ahead and open our platform script. For our platform, we just need to capture a jump force. So we'll say public float jump force. And we'll set this to something like 10 for default. What we do need is our void on collision enter 2D method. So we want our platforms to boost our player upwards. What we can say is if the collision dot relative velocity dot y is less than or equal to zero, rigid body 2D RB is equal to collision dot game object dot get component of type rigid body 2D. If the RB is not equal to null, vector two velocity is equal to RB dot velocity. We'll set the velocity dot y equal to the jump force. And then we'll set the player's rigid body velocity back to this new velocity. So now when the player touches the platform, it actually launches him into the air. Let's start with the camera follow script as this one's pretty simple. We just need a public transform target variable and then we'll say void late update if the target.position.y, so the player's position is greater than the transform.position.y, which is the camera's position. Then we wanna say vector three new position is equal to new vector three transform.position.x target.position.y and then transform.position z and then we just set our transform.position equal to new position in the editor with the main camera selected we can now drag our player into the target field and when you play you'll notice the camera actually moves up last script we need to work with is our game manager we'll say public game object and we'll call this platform prefab we want to determine how many platforms to generate so we'll say public int platform count and i'll default this to something like 300 and so in our start method, vector three spawn position is equal to new vector three. And we want to say four int i is equal to zero. i is less than our platform count i plus plus spawn position dot y plus equals 
random dot range 0.5 f and 2 f spawn that position dot x is equal to random dot range negative 5 f and 5 f instantiate our platform prefab at the spawn position we just created and for rotation we'll use quaternion dot identity on your game manager script drag your platform prefab into the field and now you've just made your first simplified version of doodle jump <laughs>